Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a table in Airtable by importing an Excel or CSV file. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now I'm going to show you how you can create a table in a base in Airtable by importing an Excel file and then subsequently by importing a CSV file. Now, very quickly, I'll start by previewing the files that I'm going to be using. Essentially, I'm using the same file with the same set of columns and the same records. Really, the only difference between the two files are the extension. So you can see the first one here, which is titled Excel file is a type Excel worksheet. And you can see here, the second file is a CSV file. It's an Excel comma separated values file. Now I'll quickly open one of these files so you can see the data before I import it. Now you can see here, I've got about five records of data and I've got several different columns with various types of data, text, amounts, uh, choice types, dates, etc. Now I'm just gonna close out of these files and I'm gonna navigate back to my Airtable base. Now from the base that you want to import the data and create a new table, what you want to do is you wanna go ahead and click on this button at the very top of the interface that reads add or import. And once you click on this option here, you can see that you have a bunch of different options. Now there's a quick import from group and you can see here that you can actually choose the type of file that you want to import. Now, just very quickly, if you also click the more options menu here, you can see that you actually have a bunch of different uh, file formats that you could use to create a table. So Airtable, really powerful tool. Um, but again, we're going to be looking at Excel and CSV. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by creating a table from my CSV file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on CSV file. Next, Airtable is going to ask you to actually select your files. Now you could just click on this menu and navigate uh, through your file explorer to find the file. What I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and drag my file into this menu here. And you can see here that it now appears. And I'm gonna go ahead and click this upload button. And now what I'm being prompted to do is to determine where do I wanna import my data to. Now by default, it's going to be set to create new table, but if I actually wanted to import data into an existing table, then I could go ahead and select that table here and I would just need to make sure that the data in my CSV file sort of aligns to the structure of the table that I would be importing to. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select create a new table and I'm gonna click next. And what's gonna happen now is Airtable is actually going to go ahead and attempt to read the different columns that you'll be importing into this new table to be created and to automatically set the column data types. Now, Airtable is prompting you here to make sure that they've done this accurately. So what you want to do is you want to go through each column and actually make sure that it's set to the desired data type. Now to do that, you just wanna click on the drop down to the right of the column name. And you can see here that in this case, Airtable mapped this column from my CSV file to a long text format. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to single line of text. And if you wanted to switch this to any other um, type of column, you could go ahead and just select it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select single line of text. And again, what you'll also notice here is that if I wanted to actually rename this column and change it from the name that was included in the CSV file, um, I could just go ahead and type something in here. Uh, I'll just go ahead and leave it as is. Now you wanna repeat this step for all of your columns. So again, just click on the little drop down to the right of the name. So I'm gonna change customer first name to single line of text. I'm gonna change customer last name to single line of text. Now you can see here in the amount column, it has mapped that column to a number type. And you can tell by the little number sign here. Now, when I go ahead and click on this dropdown, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to a currency because it's meant to record the amount for an invoice that needs to be paid. And you can see here that I've changed it and it's now updated the record data 
to reflect uh, currency data type. Now, very quickly, you can see here, my status column has been mapped to a single select. So this is a choice field. That's exactly what I want this column to be mapped to. Uh, and you can see here, invoice date was mapped to a date type column as well. So once you go through and ensure that all of your columns have been mapped, the next step is to go ahead and click import. Now, before I do that, I'm just gonna draw your attention to two different options here. The first one is this all fields dropdown. Essentially what this does is it allows you to select which columns from your CSV file or your Excel file you actually want to import into this table. Now by default, it's going to select all fields here. Okay, now if you didn't wanna select all fields, you could just uncheck that option and go ahead and manually select the columns that you want to import. Um, in this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and import all the fields. Now the other option here is in the other settings menu. Um, and what you can do here is you can determine whether or not you wanna use the first row as headers. So I had column names in my very first row. So I wanted to ensure that this is turned on and it was turned on by default. Um, so that is something that you wanna consider. And you can see here this option that says auto select field types. So this is essentially going to let Airtable determine um, the appropriate field types for your import. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll turn this on and you can see here that because I toggled this on and off, it actually reverted some of my column types. Now I'll just leave all the others, but I will change number back to currency. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and click import. And you can see here that Airtable has now imported that CSV file and created a new table. Um, and it's added all of the records that were included in that CSV file um, in this table. Now, again, if you wanted to change any of these data types, you could easily just do that by clicking on the dropdown, clicking on customize field type, and you could go ahead and change it. Now, if I wanted to set invoice description to single line of text, I could select it and click save, and it could go ahead and make that change. Now, the reason I'm showing you how to do that is in case uh, you maybe made a mistake when you were doing your mapping or your review, or perhaps you missed updating the data type for a specific column, it's okay, you can always change it after the fact. So that's how to import a CSV file and have it create a new table in a base. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just quickly run you through the process for an Excel file. Again, from your base, you wanna click on add or import. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and select Microsoft Excel. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my Excel file and drag it into that menu and click upload. This time, again, I wanna create a new table. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And you can see here, it's essentially the same step. So it doesn't matter if it's a CSV file or Excel file, it is the exact same steps to import this and have it create a new table that we just ran through. Now I'll just skip the mapping this time and click import. And you can see here, it's now created a new table um, based on the data that was included in my Excel file. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can create a table in a base in Airtable by importing an Excel file or a CSV file. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.